Hello students, you're gonna get a block of clay today and the first thing you can do is pull off a little bit less than half. So that was a little bit less than half that I pulled and set aside. I'm now using my hands bumping and rolling to get my clay into a spherical shape. This might take a while, this is sped up and so take your time to get a nice smooth round sphere shape then push down with your thumb to begin your pinch pot. I made sure it was straight down and in the center. Now, very slowly, you will give gentle pinches with both hands as you rotate your bowl. I even added a little bit more moisture because my hands had dry clay on them. Just a touch of moisture. As you slowly spin, you're going to feel with your hands that your bowl is becoming even and round, kind of the thickness of a cookie, and not letting it get too thin on the lip and not letting it too thin inside, but trying to get it evenly thick like a cookie. My pressure that I'm giving between my thumb and fingers is so even and gentle that it's compacting the clay into a nice hard cookie thickness and so now that I've got a pinch pot I may begin adding parts to add a part you're going to use a moistened toothbrush so a toothbrush with tons of water on it here I am making a flat shape that's going to become a ton and I'm going to scrape the inside with that very wet toothbrush and kind of Velcro both sides and then push very firmly down to make those stick. You'll also need to do smoothing. That means that actual clay will be mushed down so that it connects two pieces. So the parts you can add today will be flat slabs like the tongue I just made. I made it by forming a sphere first and then rolling it to be the length I wanted and then mushing evenly with my hands. And you can use smaller spheres to form something like an eye. And you can start with a sphere and turn it into kind of a horn or an arm shape by rolling it into more of a coil. Now, anything that is too small that isn't velcroed on with the toothbrush on both pieces will fall off. So we want your pieces to be sort of big, not too skinny, and we want them to be very well velcroed and smoothed on to your clay. Here's another piece I'm velcroing the two bits together. Notice I'm supporting under with a finger while I smear that eyeball into place. Anytime I'm pushing down with a toothbrush, I do need to put my hand underneath and make sure it doesn't mush the clay. This is very fresh, muddy clay, and so it can collapse if I'm not holding it where I'm pressing onto it. So now you can use tools. Once everything all over your clay piece has been smoothed and smoothed and smoothed, if you have time at the end of class, you can add some texture with tools. This is kind of the fun part that you get to do after your smoothing and forming has happened. If your clay does not have time to get smoothed and formed, then you'll just be painting texture on later, so vis visible texture. But I'm able to have some time with tools to add some more textures. I added kind of a line around the eyes and I decided that I want to add some cool texture to my tongue here. Notice I'm pressing gently. And so now I have a finished clay piece. Be sure and scratch your name down on the bottom along with your class code and then we'll be setting them on the tray and then putting your tools away 
and then washing your hands. So here's the artwork going onto the class tray, carefully close to one another. And then rubbing your hands in the bucket, letting them drip off into the bucket. Then a quick dry and grab a hand towel to finish the detail work. Hand towel goes in the black bin after you're finished.